A very warm welcome to everyone. On behalf of Skill Explore, we welcome you to the master course. And this is, as everyone knows, it is UPDA bar MMUP architecture exam preparation course. Uh, it's a study smart, not hard way with X Skill Explore master course. So I wish to introduce myself as architect S. Babji. I have done my bachelor's in architecture and my master's in landscape architecture. I have my own firm and I have uh, established my firm, you know, in this year 2020 as known as BBS Architecture and Design Studio. It's in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I'm also working as a visiting faculty for various institutions, out of which School of Architecture and Planning, Anna University, Gindi, Chennai, Tamil Nadu is one such where I handle both undergraduation as well as masters in landscape architecture. Now, what is included in Skill Explore Master Course? So I will be guiding you people throughout the entire live sessions as well as the uh, e-material given here. So I just want to give a brief about what are the various advantages and uh, the perks in joining Skill Explore Master Course. First and foremost, anyone who registers with it will have the, all the recorded video sessions. And people can see the entire syllabus as PowerPoint slides as well as the recorded explanation behind it, which will be given by me. You have all the e-study material, which is very, very useful for, uh, and which has been designed only for the, from the perspective of examination and all the uh, questions to be asked in the UPDA aptitude test. We will have a free documentation support for your entire exams. It is having a lifetime access, as you can see. Now, for architecture exclusively, they have 30 modules live mock test, mock test now each module will be having consisting of 27 questions and you can have online mock test which can very much be useful for your real examination which you are going to appear it will have the complete syllabus coverage for your exams and we will even have live quiz on each session so that every session will be questioned with a simple questions which is reflecting the main question which you're going to appear in the UPDA. So these are all the various benefits of Skill Explore Master Course. And when we talk about the syllabus for architecture exclusively, we will be detailing or dealing with history of architecture, the various you know, historical development, the architectural timeline, the buildings designed throughout the world, and the famous architects behind it. Everything will be explained. And the weightage which carried in the exam question paper, out of the 25 or 27 questions, minimum you can expect two questions from this particular uh, you know, subject. And as this project or this question, UPDA is basically for uh, uh, Qatar. Famous buildings of Qatar is also taken into consideration. Their basic parameters, what is their height, who have designed it, where is it located, and many such things are being discussed in the famous buildings of Qatar. And such, pro such a topic will be, you know, uh, weighed as two questions in the final question paper. Now, theory of architecture is one such where we will be discussing about what are the various principles or various, you know, design guidelines be behind architecture and uh, how exactly architecture is developed in terms of design. So those things are also discussed here. And maximum two questions will arise from this one which talks about color, texture, and all the other, you know, shape and size. Now, structural system of architecture is a very technical subject where we will be talking about how the columns bending movement from the perspective of an architect. What is a cantilever? What is an inward beam? What is a you know, post inst uh, slab? And various other such things. And what is its architectural relevance is spoken in this one. And you will have minimum three questions from it talking about questions pertaining to simply supported beams and things like that. Now, one of the main important criteria for this examination is the NFPA rules. Now, NFPA rules and bylaws is a very huge voluminous subject which has to be studied from both your end as well as like it will be explained from the exam point of view also here. 
and this will carry at least three questions in the examination uh, talking about uh, what is the car parking standards what what is the nfp uh, bylaw for fire protection and stuff like that now sustainability architecture sustainability architecture has become the new trend throughout the world even uh, not only architects even the engineers at site need to understand what is the meaning of sustainability and how it can be maintained throughout the world in especially in the construction industry so minimum two questions will be asked uh, talking about the climatology aspects what are the building material aspects and how as an engineer or an architect we can really uh, accentuate this particular work called sustainability now design principles of architecture is a very very critical component for any architect which talks about harmony uh, balance talks about the rhythm and you know various other parameters which explains the building design as well as the mentality behind the design perception so it is basically like minimum three questions we can expect from this particular topic and one of the lifelines of architecture is mep or the building services we can always find you know minimum three questions talking about the fire protection electrical systems what happens in the plumbing health and you know uh, public health engineering services like plumbing and all those things we can see in this particular topic the the topic called contract is the most most important thing when it comes to the drawing is it's an interface from where the drawing gets converted into reality and this has been exhaustively spoken in this particular segment and uh, video tutorials will really help you in understanding the various types of contract and uh, it has it has been explained in uh, you know great extent so you can see there will be minimum three questions from this contract uh, asking about what are the types of contracts uh, who is the proposer who is the uh, you know offerer and who is the offeree and who is the promiser and stuff like that now project management and planning is a very very vast subject and this has been done or probably uh, analyzed only from the perspective of architecture how the pert and cpm is going to be dealt so minimum four questions can be expected in this particular topic so totally if you count everything all constitute to around 27 questions so ideally speaking the upda examination will have i27 uh, multiple choice questions which will you know guide you or encompass the entire syllabus of architecture so we will see why exactly we should do this upda exam now we are always abreast with the new technology we are always uh, you know informed about the new methods of construction and the design principles but the government needs to Uh, uh, you know, verify and ratify every single person who is working within the regions and you know, uh, financial regions as well as the socio-economic regions and political boundaries of Qatar. So naturally, the Ministry of Municipality and Environment or the MME has actually put a notice telling like they have formed a new rule in November 2019 where UPDA or MMUP uh, registration has to be linked with visa proposals and renewals. and to live in qatar so those who are with engineer visa or working in an engineering related profession will not be able to renew uh, you know or transfer and family visa renewals etc without this examination so that therefore all the engineers must complete their process of registration in engineering committee as app and exert dedicated efforts in achieving the engineer license at the earliest just like how we cannot drive a uh, a car in a, you know on the road without license and worst thing we cannot drive a car in a, in a foreign country without the international driving license similarly an engineer has to be you know vetted and confirmed that yes he is capable and he is with the standards and you know uh, control limits of uh, uh, the con concerned country and qatar is very very important uh, you know the government is taking a very important step of legalizing every engineer working there with this particular examination and they are giving a license i think that way whether it is given by the government or not it is our genuine duty of every engineer to get themselves licensed so what does upda stand for it is an urban planning and development authority 
and it comes under MMUP, and that's nothing but Ministry of Municipality and Urban Planning. Currently, it is known as MME, which is nothing but Ministry of Municipality and Environment. So, if you can notice how Qatar has developed from just a very architectural fraternity of urban planning into considering even the environment into its you know uh, region. So, I think it is one of the best uh, countries and one of the best institutions to be like you know dealing with this one. So, the exam is mandatory for all engineers in Qatar to work as an engineer. Primary list of sectors may vary between engineering jobs in the government, consulting engineering offices, and contractors. So, engineers holding engineers visa require attaining the MMUP credential to apply for new visa, renew existing visa, transferable visa with NOC. So, this is the basic introduction about what is an UPDA exam. And what is the exam pattern like? Now, as we are explaining the syllabus to you, we will explain the syllabus not like how it is explained in college. We will explain from the perspective of the exam point of view. So if the exam is going to happen for 27 questions, we will give you so many number of multiple choice questions which has happened in the previous exams. All the questions will be taken and we will make you considerably familiar with all the questions and attend the exam with fullest confidence. Now that is the advantage or the key advantage of Skill Explore, uh, if you notice. The Skill Explorer has always maintained a great you know, uh, database in terms of collecting all the information regarding the question paper and understanding the exam pattern. So the exam is based, uh, it, it is a system based or an offline computer based one hour exam where the hall ticket and everything will be given to you and everything will be done as a mock-up also with Skill Explorer. So that the exam pattern is basically having 25 or 27 questions minimum. And the minimum score to uh, attain, if you have a 25 questions, the minimum uh, questions to be attended is 13. And that is like, you know, the minimum passing uh, uh, exam answers. And if you are writing 27 questions, if the question paper is having 27 questions, uh, at least 14 answers should be absolutely right. So if you understand, each right answer calculated will be given four marks. So there will be no negative mark. This is one of the greatest advantage of writing this UPD exam. You need to prepare within your engineering discipline, subjects, project management, etc. You can access the system calculator if needed. After finishing the exam, you should go outside the examination hall and wait in the rest area. After a few minutes, they will call one by one for results. So this is like, you know, you finish off the exam and you get the answer immediately. So you can actually be very much uh, prepared for this exam even as a commoner, but we suggest Skill Explore will give you the greatest advantage of attending this exam without any kind of you know uh, negative influence or without any kind of uh, uh, setback. So if you pass the exam, they will tell you to wait for a few minutes to issue the EPDA or MMUP license, and that's it. You are absolutely great. You will feel elated about you know clearing the exam just because you have passed through the skill explores uh, constant dedication and dedicated experts teaching you. Your, your, then you will have to have a debit card or a credit card is needed for payment of you know Qatari uh, 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 money of uh, 300 for your UPDA MMUP license. Once payment is done, they will issue the UPDA MMU li MMUP li license. Now, you must be wondering, where should I write the exam? Naturally, you have to come for the exam center, which is in Qatar, naturally. And the exam will be conducted in the same Baladia office, Doha Municipality Building, B Ring Road. And Baladia office is location, as we have seen, it is in B Ring Road. You can check out the Google link given here to check the Google map. And we can always put on your uh, smartphone and drive straight to Qatar, uh, you know. Uh, in the, in, when you are in Qatar to the Doha Municipality Building. And I am very sure like you will have enjoy you know, doing it with Skill Explore. We will guide you stage by stage, step by step, how to attain this you know, license and with fullest confidence. Now, there are certain requirements or required documents to obtain when we have to do for the exams. There are certain mandatory documents. Naturally, your photo identification is very important which is given by the valid Qatar ID and a degree certificate which is which is to be attested from Ministry of Foreign Affairs 
has to be there so that they will check whether the degree certificate is from the uh, recognized university and things like that consolidated a mark sheet overall mark sheet or a transcript this is very important to showcase that yes you have done a full fledged full time professional degree each semester mark sheets or individual mark sheet is also important despite the consolidated mark sheet you should also carry every individual mark sheet of the each semester this is uh, this is something sometimes we will fail to address because we will think once the consolidated mark sheet is there why should we give the uh, individual mark sheet it but for this particular exam you have to give it as a mandatory document qatar pcc or a police clearance certificate so that there is no legal implication on you if you are uh, so that the police you know clearance certificate is given you are a much more you know uh, respected citizen and your curriculum vitae you should be there and you should you should have a passport size photograph and you should have a passport also all these things are can be a copies of you know the originals and you, you have to carry two additional documents which is optional but it is always better to carry to showcase how you know you are more interested in doing this exam like your experience certificate or any training certificate so if you are having any doubts you can directly log into our website skillexplore.com and you can also contact our phone numbers you can have the direct talk with the you know people there and you can get to know more information now i i wish you all the best and success uh, to be part and parcel of our skill explore family learn get a, you know great advantage gain the confidence and do your exams and i am very sure you will really have you know great time getting this upda mmup license my best wishes to everyone you can always mail us in info@skillexplore.com and you can have all the formalities and any queries you can directly log into our website or you, you can even call the mobile number which has been given in the uh, link here my best wishes to everyone all the best thank you